Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another fragrance video. I thought I would be filming a makeup video before another fragrance video. I did not plan on doing any more fragrance videos until I filmed and uploaded something else outside of fragrances because I'm not trying to make my channel just one thing. I'm not trying to focus strictly on fragrances even though I absolutely love them. But this deserves a video. I am back with a blind by fragrance video. Um, the fragrance that I have introducing to you today, the one that I blind bought, the one that I've been excited for, for like three months, ever since I discovered it. No, it hasn't been three months. It's probably been a month and a half too. Um, ever since I discovered it on, um, I started following a bunch of Instagram uh, <laughs> fragrance pages and watching a bunch of YouTube fragrance videos and fragrance channels. Frank Olivier, Oliver, uh, I think it's Frank, Frank Olivier, Oud Vanille. I'm so excited to smell this. I'm a big fan of Oud fragrances. I have been like, I smelled Tom Ford Oud Wood and that was it for me. Um, I do not have that fragrance just yet, but I do have a dupe for it, like a really, really good dupe for it. And I'm gonna get into that later on um, down the line. I have a couple from that particular dupe house. Um, chef's kiss. I've heard a lot of good things about this fragrance here. Um, it's woody, it's musky, it's spicy, you know, it's sweet because of the vanilla. Um, it has a touch of rose in it, they said, and it's a unisex fragrance, so it's for men and women. Um, I really like unisex fragrances. Personally, uh, I'm not strictly, you know, just a feminine fragrance type of person. I like them both. Um, I can even, I can even see myself honestly wearing like men colognes because if it smells good and I can get away with it, I'm gonna try it. But um, I'm going to have, like in my last fragrance video, I'm going to list the notes um, as I say them and I'm going to give you a description and all that good jazz. But I really, really, really wanna get into this fragrance because um, I got it delivered earlier today. It was not supposed to be here until tomorrow and I've waited all day um, it's currently like 10 o'clock at night. I've waited all day to smell this because I wanted to film a video of uh, first impressions on it. So yeah, um, I got this. It was $17 on Amazon at the time that I got it. Um, with the tax, it was like $18 plus, $18.50 something, something around there. But it's um, not an expensive fragrance at all. And... For the price, surprisingly, they say that it lasts a very, very long time. And the project projection on it is amazing. So I'm just gonna open it. This is, by the way, a um, 100 milliliter. So it's 3.4 fluid ounces. This is an Eau de Parfum, not a toilet, it's a parfum. Um, this is what the box looks like. It's just this really deep purple. I can smell it through the... Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, this is the bottle. First of all, the bottle is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I didn't, can't find any like 
paper strips or test strips so I'm gonna use this random receipt that I have grabbed out of my purse and I test it on here they say this is really strong too so when you're wearing it you really only need like one or two sprays oh yes this scent is very beautiful I'm gonna spray again just to the full because you know that first spray is never really a full spray oh this is beautiful definitely unisex I'm smelling the rose for sure smelling just a bit of incense and it smells fucking beautiful honestly the incense gets a bit strong there but it's still fresh I'm gonna go ahead and read the fragrance notes and all that and let this let it dry down and then come back to it top notes are caramel raspberry and orange the middle notes are incense rose patchouli jasmine and violet the base notes are vanilla woody notes spices and musk so there is actually no oud in it oud Vani by frank olivia is an amber woody fragrance for women and men oud Vani was launched in 2017 top notes are yeah this fragrance becomes so recommended on fragrantica it um it has the list of like the main chords and it has woody and i'll post it around here wherever um it has woody vanilla warm and spicy sweet balsamic rose amber smoky caramel powdery this scent and it, it is very strong it is very very strong um i have the paper like sitting off to the side and that's all i can smell at this point like it, it smells like i've sprayed it on myself i'm going to love this perfume this fragrance a lot of people say or some people say that it leans more masculine and that would probably be probably be the incense in it but i don't really get that i think it's perfect for a unisex fragrance i think it's a perfect blend of both feminine and masculine so like to each his own though it's a personal preference everybody's opinion is different it's definitely the incense is definitely prominent <laughs> stop what you're doing right now and go bad oud Vini. you can get on phrasenet you can get on amazon um i'm not too sure about any of the other frank olivia uh fragrances i heard that the others don't do as well as oud Vini, but this one right here this is actually like it's so it's so good and it's so powerful for the price this is a fragrance that I would want to get keep because it's so cheap. It's so affordable and it's powerful. It's just as powerful as like a designer fragrance. It supposedly lasts just as long. I don't know about that for sure. But I love the dry down just as much as I love the first initial sprays. It's a really sexy fragrance and for we can just let's just cap it off at like 20 25 30 dollars it's cheaper on amazon of course but on fragrance net it's maybe 25 30 dollars and i'm not sure i shop on fragrance net all the time so i always have like a code in my cart so it automatically takes off so i can't remember the exact price for it um i'll probably look for it and like post it either in the description box or on the screen or you know whatever for you guys but it's even $30 is completely affordable and such a good price I this this one right here I honestly wouldn't mind paying $50 for I spent I paid 18 for it on Amazon 
I wouldn't mind paying 50 for it. Um, a lot of people also say that uh, this particular one, it kind of mimics or it smells like um, Middle Eastern fragrance. I'm gonna say that. Um, I have not tried or I don't own any Middle Eastern fragrances. I haven't tried any, tested any, but I do have a few of them that I have my eye on that I'm gonna be purchasing really, really soon. So um, I'm most likely gonna make a video on those too. And once I get them in my possession and then film those videos, I will make the comparison to Oud Vini when I get them. But 10 out of 10, like without text, without testing it on my skin, 10 out of 10, highly recommend it. Go get it right now. I'm obsessed. Like, I'm so obsessed. Uh, this fragrance is also like extra, extremely smoky. It's very mysterious. It's, it's sexy. Sexy, smoky, mysterious. If you want to wear anything that like just make, like if you walk past a person and make them stop in their tracks and be like, what are you wearing? This is it. This fragrance is a beast. For the price, a beast. Even for a more expensive price, a beast. The mysteriousness in it is coming from the incense. If you're in a cigar lounge and you're just, you're there, just there, just in your element, just minding your business, and a guy walks up on you, even if, you know, all you do is have a conversation and you dip, like don't exchange numbers, none of that. Trust me, he will be thinking about you afterwards. When he goes home, and he's gonna frequent that cigar lounge, hoping to see you again. Get this, get this fragrance. Get it, get it, get it. I'm going to be buying another bottle, or two, maybe four. Cause I know me, I know me. I, I, have, I have a problem. Fragrances, that, that is my addiction. I have a problem. Um, I sometimes, no, I'm not gonna lie, I all the time overspray. This is one that I should not be overspraying because it is really strong, like all the other reviews said, but I can't help it. If I overspray, overspray. And even though this is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle, I need another one or 10 ish just what it is honestly and it actually reminds me kind of like it has a, it smells like it has a hint of cherry um i don't know if it's just like the similar notes of tom ford lost cherry but i have an again a perfume from a dupe house of lost cherry that i'm also going to get into yeah it kind of reminds me of lost cherry but not completely uh i'm obsessed like that's all i got to say i'm obsessed it's a beautiful fragrance perfect for the winter time you know i've said before that i don't like to compartmentalize my fragrances into summer winter spring fall i wear them when i wear them i wear them when i feel like it and although i do feel like that that's perfect for winter but i will be wearing it in the summer Perfect for night out, date, night, anything. Daytime, shopping, whatever. I'm obsessed. Running get it. Ouvigny, Frank Olivier. <sighs> Just, yes. I, I can sit here and call this fragrance beautiful all night, but I'm not going to do that. You get the point. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the thumbs up button, give me a like, and drop some comments down below. On And let me know if you've tried this fragrance, what you think about it, if you plan on trying this fragrance. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.